Hello, my name is Nancy Garrison and I am co-founder of Garrison Brothers Distillery. Well, I didn't always drink bourbon. I'm a fourth generation Texan and I've had my fair share of tequila. But when I met Dan Garrison, he drank bourbon whiskey, period. And so I was introduced to the spirit and I began to understand the complexity and the heritage. It's really special. Honeydew bourbon is my baby. We do big, bold, high proof bourbons and they are all delicious. I had a vision for something that was a little lighter, crisper, more approachable, something I could drink every day. It is hot in Texas. Honeydew bourbon is now my go-to. I didn't make honeydew. My very talented master distiller, Donna's Todd, created what I envisioned, and it was not an easy process. I'm tasting hundreds of barrels every week and using around 50 to 55 barrels that I dump and marry together almost every Monday to support small batch. In that ritual of tasting barrels every week, I started to find a ton of barrels that had a natural wildflower honey note. And I wanted to highlight that so more palates, more people could enjoy that. I didn't want to lose what Garrison Brothers' great Texas weeded bourbon is, but I wanted to highlight those honey notes. You can't flavor bourbon and call it bourbon whiskey. So we collaborated with Burleson's Honey and created a finishing technique to give that little touch of sweetness, still bourbon forward, but a touch of sweetness on the back of the palate. We have the actual physical barrels, uh, Russell and Roll, break those barrels apart, and we end up with the staves. From the staves, we run all that through uh, a miter saw and turn it in to these little cubes. We take a couple of five gallon buckets of Texas Wildflower Burleson's Honey, and we'll take around five gallons of cast strength bourbon that we just harvested out of those barrels. And we send all of that to my buddy Matt, and he infuses these cubes with the honey and the bourbon. I get the cubes back, and they're just saturated with the bourbon and the honey. Make a tea bag, which is just some cheesecloth and all the match cubes that he's infused for me, and we put them down into Elsie uh, the bourbon tank. For seven months, that bourbon soaks up delicious honey flavors. The final version, I said, Donis, this is it. I love this bourbon. You have taken my vision and far exceeded my expectations. Donis is a master craftsman and he is making the best bourbon in the world. You know, for me, Honeydew being an 80 proof bourbon gives a better opportunity to appreciate some of the subtle notes of the bourbon, like the floral or the fruit, pineapple cake, plum jelly, the vanilla, and the delicate hint of honey on the finish. I prefer it neat or on a rock with a splash of soda. I'm not a great bartender, but I do enjoy a cocktail or two, and I think the subtle notes of honeydew are perfect even in the classics, an old fashioned or a Manhattan. I am so proud of what we do at Garrison Brothers. We make good bourbon, but Garrison Brothers honeydew is particularly special to me. It is my baby. When someone comes up to me and says, I don't drink bourbon, but I drink your honeydew bourbon, that makes all the work that we put into this all the more special.